Ah, oh, greetings. It's me, Sharpie Puss Potato. And uh, right here, I'm going to actually be playing uh, a different game, very similar to Diablo. Um, the game is called Path of Exile, and it's actually created by a bunch of uh, players. Um, it's a very popular game. It's more popular than Diablo these days. Um, I've never really got into it like hardcore style but we're gonna try um basically the guys used to play diablo 2 a lot and they were really disappointed with diablo 3 so they wanted to make a true sequel to diablo 2 and um this is basically the game that they came up with so uh one second don't have uh volume are oh, there one second Miss me, yeah. Ah, okay. I've got the volume now. Um, hopefully the volume is okay. Now, I'm just going to quickly change my sound settings because, yeah, for some reason, uh, it's got my uh, sound registered incorrectly. Uh, choose the default sound to play. We want voice meter input. There we go. And voice meter output. Okay, that should be better. Okay. So, um, I'm actually just going to muck around because the thing is, there's a new season coming out next week. Like you can see, this is like the, the season. Uh, like at the moment, the season is Sentinel. Uh, and there's a new season coming out called Lake of Calandra, and that's next week, August 19th. So uh, basically, we're just going to muck around and test the game and uh, get used to it a bit. And then next week, I'm going to actually try this Lake of Calandra. So um, yeah, basically what a season is, is uh, different in-game events kind of thing. And uh, it's how... It's like the theme of the season. So, you know, this season Sentinel, it's all about like these robot things that kind of shoot lasers and empower enemies and uh, you get better drops and stuff. Whereas Lake of Calandra is more like a kind of puzzle kind of generator and you generate like custom levels with different enemies and stuff. So, yeah. But either way, let's get started. I've um, I've been playing a hardcore character here called My Name is Brill, uh, who's my Israeli friend. But um, we're going to actually just create a um, new uh, Sentinel. We're going to do say, solo self found because uh, we're going to be playing on our own. And it's just more, in my opinion, it's more excited. Exciting, sorry. I'm going to make a Scion. Just because um, I want to actually make a Witch here uh, with Onslaught. Uh, which is like a skill I've read like a little guide and uh, to get Onslaught they said you need to make a Scion first and just kind of um, uh, get the Onslaught skill and then make a Witch and then you'll be like it's a lot easier basically to get started okay you and I we're the only ones that made it to shore Alive, anyway. Uh, looks like you found something you can defend yourself with. Good. This place is crawling with criminals. There's smoke rising just east of here. Could be worth checking if there's... Oh. Oh, dear. Okay. It's true. And so... Um, I just picked up a gem... And these gems are like your skills. So um, it's quite interesting because you don't have like a skill tree, so to say, with new skills. You actually use these sockets on your weapons to um, uh, like create your own skills. So it's quite cool. So this one is called Spectral Throw. Spells uh, throws a spectral copy of your melee weapon. So it's like I'm going to be throwing a sword, I think, basically. Um and then you can combine this with other gems and make like custom skills. So I could like, you know, maybe imbue it with fire or something and yeah. So let's just uh, get started, start working our way through. Ha! 
Okay, so that's my skill. See, she's like throwing her sword around. That's uh, quite a cool skill, actually. I like it. I have nothing more to give. Okay, and down here in this uh, corner here, I've got my potions. Just going to swap them around slightly. So, um, yeah, you you can your potions recharge based on I think when you kill people they recharge. So it's quite quite a cool thing. That's pretty cool. I like that. Not played a scion before. But yeah, you have to tell me what you think. Like, uh, if you prefer this or if you prefer Diablo or... Because, yeah. Uh, there's actually a new season of Diablo coming soon as well. Diablo 2. Uh, maybe in a month or two. So we can go back to Diablo and play that new season. But I thought maybe this would be good. Oh, there we go. Onslaught support. So this is what we wanted for our... Uh, so, uh, which so supported skills have a 10% chance to grant onslaught for three seconds uh, I don't understand what onslaught does does it say uh, supported skills have a 20% chance to grant onslaught dealing a killing blow so no idea we'll have to figure out what it does when we use it it's like onslaught I guess will be a buff but let's see if we can figure it out Do they actually return? Oh, they actually return to me like that. That's cool. So you can actually just throw them and uh, like guide them into enemies as well. So that's quite nice. Oh, there we go. There's Onslaught. Oh, it doesn't say what it does though. We'll, we'll figure out what Onslaught does. Maybe we just need to look into it a bit. Okay, there we go. And I've always been a fast study. So leveled up. Um, so basically, this is the skill tree. Quite big, as you can see. You know, it's a massive skill tree, which is nice. A lot of choice, a lot of customization. So um, attack speed and dexterity. I'm not sure which way to go. Um, let me just have a look um, online. So Thion... Um, builds. Let's just have a look. Sentinel League. Ballista Totem. Yeah, let's try this. This sounds interesting. Ballista Totem. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Changes, changes. Of... Hmm, this might be a second. Okay, I think this is what we want. So I want. Oh, it won't be a sec. There we go. Import. Okay, then we shall go as. Uh, this is going to be um, a star. Okay. Cool. So, first of all, we want to go here. Making the wrong thing. There we go. Five points. So we've got like more attack speed now. That's what that skill was. So we attack a bit faster. And I believe there's a boss coming up. There he is. Here, look. So you can see he's got a lot of HP. I think Onslaught makes you attack even faster, actually, because I think I was attacking a bit faster there. Or move faster, maybe. Or maybe both. He's a strong boy. Yeah. Shabby Jack and Sigil. Perfect. Okay, so that was like the first kind of little 
introduction. Um, yeah, let me know what you think. Like, you know, graphics, gameplay, and all that stuff. I think uh, I think this could be a fun game to to sort of get into. It's very complex compared compared to Diablo 2. That's why I never really got into it because it's a lot to learn. But I figured, you know, it's so popular and so many people are playing that maybe it's worth, like, you know, investing a bit of time and getting getting into this game. Okay, so unidentified. So basically, I can identify this, just like Diablo. Equip that. Okay. Welcome to our home away from home, for what it's worth. I'm Nessa. That putrid giant you just laid to rest, that was Hillock. You're lucky. He's eaten stronger exiles than you. Don't count on that luck lasting. It's in short supply here in Rayclast. Still, you've rid us of a curse and we owe you our thanks. Lion Eye's watch isn't much, but it's ours. We could use you here while you live. But should you wish to venture out, do just one thing for me. Out on the coast, amongst the wrecks, there must be a ship's medicine chest. I have many to care for. And there's only so much I can do with herbs and seawater. So this is kind of like you're an exile. I think there's actually a story that maybe I need to, like an introduction, but basically you're, you've been condemned a prisoner, uh, like a criminal, and exiled basically to this place. And you're on a ship and the ship crashed and you came ashore here. And I, I believe that all these people here are also exiles and they're sort of just, you know, trying to survive sort of thing. So yeah, it's uh, quite an interesting like story as well, I think. By those eyes of yours, I'd best count you a friend. What wouldn't last long is a foe. <laughs> the name's Bestel, captain of the good ship Merry Gold. Swift and pretty she was. Nothing like the High Templar's rubbish scow that brought you here. Alas, the Merry Gold is gone. My crew is gone. But my wits remain after the fashion. <laughs> There's an island, a hop skipping away offshore of the terraces. That's where my merry go ran aground. Watch the locals spit roast the ship's doctor, but his medicine chest might still be there amongst the splinters and bones. It'd have everything Nessa might need. Dr. Shaky Hands Opton was lousy with a scalpel and even worse with a saw, but he knew his apothecary. Explains the Shaky Hands, if you ask me. Okay. So I'm just going to let you like listen to these because I've not listened to them before either. So it's uh, you know just to get to know the story. Where'd you learn to fight like that? No, oh, forget I asked. We exiles have no history. Dominus took it from us when he had his blackguards dump us in the water out there. Here, yeah, got something for you. Should help you kill a few more of those undead bastards. No, don't bother thanking me. The way I figure it. The longer we fighters live, the longer everyone lives. Okay, um... I need to have a look and see which one to choose here. I'm guessing some sort of arrow, because the build I'm doing is, uh... Because it's like an arrow build, so let's have a look. Uh... Skills, here we go. Portal, dash, is that... Uh... Link arrow, vulnerability. What have we got? We've got splitting lightning. I, I guess it will be this split arrow, to be honest. Uh, most of the skills I need are arrows, so we'll go for arrow. Let's let's do it. I think we'll obviously need to find a um, a bow and arrow though, like uh, as our weapon. Don't know if we can purchase one here. We can purchase other skills here as well. Maybe sell stuff. Oh, okay. Welcome. Uh, purchase. Uh, we can buy a bow and arrow for a scroll of wisdom. Maybe this green one might be good. It's got the three sockets on it. Let's just buy that. And we'll unequip that. We'll put our gem in there. With we'll add that onslaught support. And we'll go and maybe How you going? sell this. Be well. uh, 
Who can I buy those gems off? We can maybe buy another support gem here. So what's this one? That's Onslaught. I'm just going to shove this in my bank. Because... Is there any other support gems? Support. No, that's the only one we can get at the moment. Not a problem. Um, I don't. I think we need a quiver as well. Maybe I'm not sure. Uh, quiver, quiver, quiver. Okay, there isn't any quivers at the moment. We'll, we'll try. We'll see if we can use the bow just like this. Hopefully, we can. But this skill is that. Okay, we can. Cool. So this is like multi-shot. This is similar to like Amazon uh, in Diablo 2, where I think you just fire like multiple arrows at once. Yeah, that's nice. Perfect. Oh, and that's another thing. You might have just heard that sound and seen that like green glow. That means that one of my gems leveled up. So you can see here, it says click to level up and that's my arrow. So you can actually uh, add, make that more powerful. So, you know, one to two added attack physical damage fires four additional arrows. So, yeah, as you level it up, it, you know, now it's firing more arrows sort of thing. So, yeah, quite cool. So it's like you've got a lot of uh, things to engage with, you know. It's not just leveling and, uh, you know, leveling your main skills. It's like you level your skills via the gems then you level your character via the uh the talent tree and you get new gear as well so it's like it's a really cool system there we go it's leveled up again i think oh that's our onslaught gem so that leveled up now pretty cool liking it so far uh you can listen to the stories here as well from these things Canoe struck this sand with the force of destiny. At his back, the greatest war host in Cardu history tamed the wild sea, their canoes coupling with the land one by one. Lion eyes gemlings met us with shining metal and bold words. Hyrie's arrows withered their pride. Calm's axes silenced their despair. Marseille's lion eye fought bravely to the last. Calm honored him with a place on his belt. Calm has shown Rayclast our cardo strength. Calm will teach Rayclast. Life grows in the Vega. Gonna turn the brightness up on my monitor slightly it's quite a dark game okay so we're going into let me have a look at another look at the tree so here attack speed so it seems that this is very focused on attack speed at the moment this uh, build so we'll, we'll be like a super fast attacker ah okay so this is a sentinel cache sentinel controller bus is sentinel so with this um you have this thing and you put a sentinel here and then you can summon this sentinel and he kind of like buffs enemies and makes them stronger but he uh, it also means you get better drops as far as i know like there might be more to it than that and you level up your sentinel and buff him so see there he is the sentinel you see like they're now glowing this red glow that means like they're buff sort of thing so yeah and he'll like shoot different enemies as he comes across them as well. Uh, that wasn't a very good zone to use him in, but you can you can use him in each zone as far as I know as well. So here we can use him. Okay, take a lot of damage. That's the only thing. Oh. Okay. Okay, it said something like my Bion has like five power units, whatever that means. Let me figure that out. Okay. 
Okay, so we're going to keep that there. Until controller. So I think you can, like, you direct it somehow so it will follow a path. I'm not sure how to do it. But, yeah, either way, we'll figure it out. Gonna round up a lot and uh, try and multi them all down. There we go. Okay, leveled up the gem again. speed in I think yeah okay yeah okay I think onslaught definitely increases attack speed because when that popped then I was like attacking like super fast the blue ones are like uh, elite mobs, so champion packs like from Diablo and they will drop better gear usually and stuff, but they are a lot stronger and usually do a lot more damage as well. Uh, it didn't drop much. Oh, oh. And that red thing is a uh, sentinel controller. Oh, another elite pack. Okay, I'm doing a bit of damage. that we'll pick him up anyway i think you can like combine those sentinels together to make like better ones or something like that okay another left i kill i live nice nice so next one it says to put here that's like a jewel. You can get jewels to put in here and it does more damage and stuff, but yeah. Um, oops. That's it for that way. And then we start going down the red tree over here. So we'll do that next time we level up. There's uh, yeah, there's a place here you can go. Fetid pool. Like I have played this game before, so I do remember things about it, but I've just never got very far into it. Like I think I got Act Three, but yeah, that was it. Oh, there's a champion Morrow Eyes. He's called. I have nothing more to give. God, there's two yellow ones there. Okay. 
Okay, he's almost dead. Sleep now, little nightmare. I think if we kill all the mobs in here, we uh, complete the quest. The skill isn't very strong at the moment, but you know, when we get maybe some more gems to go with it, we might be able to like buff it up a bit maybe because these mobs are taking a long old time to kill oh, medium mana flask that'll be good actually so with that we can identify that put that there so now we've got two mana flasks we can use to regenerate mana a bit faster Leaps there. Whoa. Oh man, we're out of mana. I think we need to kill like some normal mobs first so we can get our mana back. Oh, without dying with oh dear god. So yeah, good job we're not playing a hardcore. So uh resurrect in town at checkpoint let's do checkpoint oh yeah so that's good it just takes you back to the sort of beginning with full mana and health and stuff so and just go back in and start plowing them down again holy crap <laughs> they are quite strong and that's even without using our sentinel as well so yeah Guess I need to move out of the way of when they charge. Just keep blasting like this. Because they kind of stun you when they do that charge thing. Slowly dying. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay. So I'm bringing in my Sentinel, buffing them, making them stronger, but at the same time, they're very slow, so they're not much of a threat, hopefully. Whoa. Perfect. Okay, so we got two orbs of augmentation, whatever they are. Scepter. Brief helmet, we can put that on. And a vest, that might be good. It's got three sockets on it. Oh, I've got a yellow belt there, that would be nice. Don't know what that purple thing means. Oh, maybe it's like they drop yellow items, maybe? Uh, the only thing is, we haven't got anything to identify them with at the moment. We need to find some scrolls of identify. I uh, will find them shortly, hopefully. Oh, crude bow, that's... Oh, it's got three colours on it, but not what we want. Oh no, not more of these things. Oh, 
kill the necromancer and his minions. Okay. I think I need to actually target him. I have nothing more to give. Oh, out of a manner again. Okay. Gosh, he's like summoning so many mobs, we can't deal with them fast enough. This is insane. second uh this is uh a lot harder than i thought to be honest i don't know if we've just picked like crap skills or something but uh, uh let's see which one do i choose that one i think the life and strength is it or that one physical damage melee damage and strength life and strength maybe that's it physical damage and strength ah it's like changed one second okay it's that one. Oh god i'm dying i'm dying oh god This is uh, not easy, I'll tell you that. Uh oh, I'm totally out of health flasks and stuff, so we are definitely going to die. I think we might have to come back to this zone. I can't do it. Oh my god. Jesus. No, we're going to resurrect in town and we're going to come back to that area because that is uh, quite difficult if I do say so. Let's sell some stuff. Uh, sell, sell, sell. Actual throw we can sell. Okay, I want to identify them. Can I buy identify scrolls at all or not take care i've spent enough time smuggling from coast to coast to know that those shells don't come from these waters they're karui and look about right to fit into that rock wall in the mud flats i say complete the set fit them into the sockets and stand well back you've seen the fetid pool have you or smelt it rather Stinks like a carcass in high summer. But that's not the worst of it. Dead birds walking. Animals don't rise up again the same as people do here. So if they aren't raising themselves, what's doing it for them? The answer's in that fetid pool. Clear the place out and kill whatever's raising those rowers. We've got enough living dead to contend with already. And by identify squirrels? No. Hmm. Sharp out there. Uh, maybe we need to buy another skill or something as well. Like, uh, what have we got? Splitting steel, kinetic bolt, cobra lash, song blast mine. What's that? Caustic arrow, what's that? 
Yeah, that does more damage. We can try putting that in there as well. Galvanic arrow releases arrows with a burst of lightning. Ah, oh, here we go. Maybe these would be better for single target damage. Um, burning arrow, split arrow, eye shot. Okay. So, let's try the, these arrows. We've got some new arrows now, so maybe that will help us out a bit. Let's go back to here. Okay, look, we got like a poison arrow now as well, so we can use that. I'll put that as like a Q. Oh, okay. I think that one's actually a lot more powerful. I think the this arrow will be good for just maybe dealing with single target and then use the... Um, Use the other one as, uh, what you call it? Or well, maybe in general, just this one's better. It seems a lot more potent. And it still does, like, area of effect damage as well, which is nice. So let's uh, swap these around. Let's do that there and that there. So I can just hold mouse click. Oh, who's that? I think that's a boss. Yeah, it is. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was a lot of damage. Yeah, this skill's a lot better, I think. I dropped wisdom. Got a blue bow. Okay, so let's identify. Got a chess piece. Got three things here, so let's put this on. Uh, let's see the belt. 12 to maximum energy shield, okay. There we go. Hey, what we can put multi shot as uh, the normal arrow that might be better don't know what I'm looking for here exactly I think I might even be going backwards to be honest but we'll see Poison damage is like my favourite damage in games. I don't know why. I just I, I love anything with poison. Just watching like enemies, like you know, health just slowly decay, sort of thing. It's like that and uh, oh, what's orb of chance? I don't know what that is. Um, that and uh, lightning damage I like a lot as well. But uh, I prefer definitely. Oh, I thought that was the map. There we go. There's the map. Um, but I prefer poison. Poison's always my go-to skill if I can uh, choose it.
Oh, is that the... That's the place I just came from, so I've gone backwards. Never mind. Um, go back. I'm tempted to try that place again that we bailed at, you know? Let's see if we can uh, kill those things now. Tidal Island. What's this? Is this the place? This is a different place. Let's use our sentinel to buff all these. Okay, well, that's a lot of enemies. Nice. Look at that. Iron ring there. Nice. So that seems to be maybe the best way. Just round them all up. Oh, there's a boss there, though, so I want to be careful with him. and chest that's what that lady wanted I have nothing more to give another scroll nice we can identify that amulet Perfect. Oh, crab. Yeah, definitely. I think we should go back and try that necromancer again now. I think uh, we might stand a better chance against him. I keep pushing M to open the map, but they've got the shop there instead. Okay, let's try and go and kill that necromancer now that we've got this new ability. Maybe we'll stand a better chance. Black storms descend on us from the north. Unnatural tempests of rage and hatred lashing our backs, tearing at our houses. The rain is shot with shadow. It withers our crops, sickens our livestock, and the wind. The wind carries with it a restless spirit that breeds melancholy and madness. A melancholy. Through our dreams, weaves tales of misdeeds around our resting minds. We try not to listen. We try to remember ourselves. Some of us forget. Brothers fight. Brothers die. Calm punishes those that borrow and steal that murder. They steal the nightmares of the malefaction. When the father is dead, the shadow is This skill seems so much better because it's just like. You can just sort of kite them through the poison and they're just constantly taking damage. Very nice, okay. Putting our next skill, where do we want to go? We want to go down to this fire resistance, is it? Yeah, okay. Random, but okay. Uh. 
because it's like you don't even have to like directly hit them either to be honest it's just like you know fire kind of close to them and drag them through the poison a bit and it seems to do the job but yeah it's a, it's a lot stronger well they're kind of nice looking gloves those sockets they could be good Let's keep going. There he is. Let's see if we can take him now. Okay. I think this is working a bit better now. Slowly, slowly he's going down. Just stand there and burst him down, hopefully. Come on. Yes. Ooh, okay, small mana flask. Let's take that. Wisdom. Let's put another mana flask on our bar. Oh, it's already on there. Okay. Take that ring. Equip that. Perfect. Okay, I think we just need to... I think we need to, yeah, kill, you see the quest here, it's kill all the monsters in this place, so we're just going to do that. Does this damage have fire? Oh, look, so I think I, oh, I see they all do fire damage now. So my arrows have been like uh, enhanced a bit now that they're doing uh, a bit of extra damage. It looks like uh, I didn't kill all the enemies. Ah, here we go. These are the skeletons I ran past at the beginning. Probably there's more. One. Ah, perfect. There we go. So very similar quest to the uh, uh, Den of Evil in Diablo 2 where you just have to kill everything and then it goes nice and light inside. So you can see where they got like some of their inspiration from. Okay, so that's that quest done. So yeah, it just seems we needed a slightly better skill to aid us in that uh, battle there. Flask again and upgrade our smaller ones. Oh, 
Whoa. Oh, that's a boss one there. Need to move out the way of him when he charges. Okay. Let's level up again. Next one. Cold resistance. Is that right? Yeah. And we got anything new to equip? Let's equip that. Uh, gloves. They're probably better gloves, to be honest. Okay. It seems like, you know, one arrow now almost kills them in one shot, which is uh, quite nice indeed. Okay, I think we need to go here. Oh. Ah, there we go, there are the glyphs. So, I know you put these glyphs in the wall and that will take us to the next zone. And the, the cool thing about this game is it's completely free to play as well. Like, the only stuff that you can spend money on is uh, you can unlock, like, uh, where is it? There's like, a, ah, here. So you can have, like, uh, to make your character look cooler. So look, I can equip, like, uh, a cape there. I've got, uh, got this from Razor. So it leaves, like, little Razor footprints behind me and stuff. Uh, helmet I can have like different like helmets attached and stuff so yeah it's quite cool to be honest um, so in this case I just want the glowing eyes I think uh, I can have a pet emu that follows me around hit that uh, can't use any of them portrait you can like make your weapon glow as well see so Stuff like that, so I can have like a red weapon maybe, or just a nice subtle one. So I, most of these I got like way back in the day when I um first started playing the game. So, uh, but I, I like the weapon effects, but I'm not keen on like all the other stuff for now. So we'll just put a nice glow on our weapon for for the time being. Okay, now into the next zone. We can go hand in that quest actually as well that we got the medicine chest. Do what we get, maybe a reward. I'd almost stop believing in miracles. This medicine chest, it's greater than the serums themselves it holds. It tells us that we can do more in Ray class than merely suffer. I've not much to offer in return, but please take something and thanks for what you've done. Oh, uh, okay. Maybe medium life blast might be good. Just to help us regenerate a bit more health. Oh, look. Chance to poison support. Uh, support skills have a 40% chance to poison on hit. Good for chaos damage. Pierce support. 
Okay, that's interesting. So peer support makes the arrows go through them volley. Supported skills also fire projectiles from up to two points on each side of you. Okay. Ah, oh, but supported skills deal uh, less damage. Interesting. Uh, what I'm thinking of doing then is move this here. Maybe put... Well, actually... On thought, let's do pierce support. And put that in that. You managed to salvage Shaky Ann's druggery. Nicely done. Nessa will put it to good use. More than that, be numbed quack opted never did. Okay. So now we can purchase more skills from her. So if I do what's this? Mirage Archer support. Supports attack skills that can be used with bows. Supported skills can only be used with bows, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maximum one summon mirage arch. That sounds cool. Let's do that. And what's this? Ancestral call. That won't work. Chance to bleed. Ruthless. One sec. Just looking. I'm just going to choose like one that sounds cool. Uh, maybe this. Chance to bleed. Oh, I can't buy it. I need a scroll of wisdom. Let's see if we can sell some stuff. Uh, oh, see, so scroll wisdom by selling some of that, so we can now buy that. Chance to bleed. Oh no, wait, we need a red one. Yeah, chance to bleed, that's right. Put that in there. Awesome. Okay, and then you can see we can add like more skills here, but we need to buy them and we haven't got enough stuff at the moment. Uh, we'll just shovel this, these like materials. Um, we'll keep that there. Um, okay, so I'm going to swap these skills around. That I don't need, that I don't need. That could be multi-shot, okay. Sentinel locker. Oh, this is where I can put the other sentinel. Purchase. Okay. No, nothing there. What's this guy want? Now that you've drained that passage, best I warn you about something. I was running down a wounded rower one night's eve when I glimpsed something in that waterlogged cavern. Looked a bit like a sand spitter, only the size of a bloody ox. I reckon it's nesting down in those flooded depths somewhere. If you're going that way, then do us a favor. Spill the old shield crab's guts before it gets hungry and comes looking for us. Okay. Uh, frost bomb bear trap. Okay. Decoy totem. Uh, maybe we'll use the totem. Vigilant strike. Melee strike. We want decoy totem. Bear trap. There's a trap. Let's take the the totem. Oh, what's this? Steel skin, dash, frost blink. Hmm, maybe we'll take... Probably dash, maybe. We'll put that there. Ooh, Book of Regrets. Oops, skip that. Uh, grants two passive reverse. Oh, okay, so if I make a mistake in my build, I can undo them now. Uh, okay, cool. So we've actually got a decoy totem. So that's kind of like uh, something that will taunt the enemies off me, I think. And dash uh, is like a little teleport. So that's good. Got some new skills. Let's uh, carry on a little bit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Oh, there we go. Okay, that's cool. You see that now I have like a little archer that appears above my head and also fires. So that's quite cool. I like that. Nice. Uh, so this is like a electricity thing, uh, which grants me... See, I've got like electricity around me now, so... Like a, a little buff. 
doesn't last very long, but still. Ooh, this uh, multi-shot skill now does a lot more damage. Boss there. Flask. We can upgrade that last mana flask. Uh, what haven't we got? Amulet, we got. I don't want to waste. Uh, I've got stuff to identify there, but we've already got all those items equipped, so we'll wait until we've got more. Oh, I can try that totem as well, so... Oh, yeah, you see it? It, like, all the enemies are attacking that, so that's quite cool. Level up. Okay, that's, uh... Lightning resistance. Yeah. Uh, okay. So that's quite cool that totem because it, it, it just means you know takes the pressure off me a bit be good when you know i start facing stronger enemies the ledge oh this is like a boss i think Whoa, whoa, whoa. See, that term is awesome. It just kind of tanks for me while I do my stuff. Uh-oh. See, that would have been quite a long battle, probably, if I didn't have that totem, so... Good job we picked that up. I need to learn what all these, uh, like, items I've got do, to be honest, because I don't honestly know. Like Ket, Chromatic Orb, I have no idea what these are used for yet. I need to read up on them.
Earth of Rayclast rejects the dead. The black spirit of storm and dream now reaches into the ground and raises up our slain Imperial foes. It leads the fallen from their graves and drives them to fight us beyond the end. Rotted tooth and jagged nail. Our own remembered have joined their cursed ranks. No longer may we give our beloved to the birds, messengers of spirit to the sky, conveyors of flesh to the earth. Khan has commanded us to destroy our remembered with axe and fire. Khan is the bravest of us, willing to bear the ire of the ancestors for the survival of his people. So this calm geezer seems like a important fellow. Oh, that's a boss. Whoa. Skill Sentinel, 10, 24 increase evasion rating and armor, 10% to all elemental resistance. Okay. And then we want to start heading this way next. Skeletons in little wheels. I have nothing more to give. The <laughs> funny little thing is just. Follow me around. Oh, that's a boss. Whoa, 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 that does some damage.
chromatic orb. No idea what that does. Oh, that's a boss. Small mana flask. Lower prison. From Aureus to Axiom. Oh, I think. Our sentinel is uh, broken. Uh, let's go back to town. And we can grab that other sentinel out of our inventory. Uh, where was it? Here. There we go. The tale of Brutus was a popular one in the schools of Theopolis. Taught in the hopes of deterring students from ambitions not condoned by the Templar. Brutus was warden of Axiom Prison, and one of the most feared men in the Eternal Empire. But there the histories end, and the myth begins, with Brutus commissioning a witch to transform him in a mad attempt at immortality. A moment of hubris that didn't end well for anyone. If it's true, then Brutus has my pity. Some of us pay too dearly for our mistakes. Yet if you insist on learning from your own mistakes, then please, take one of these. Oh, thank you. Uh, lesser projectile support, supported skills, by two additional added cold damage, added lightning, added fire support. I wonder if we can. No, that doesn't work for dash. Life tap. Uh, supported skills, gaining life tap after a total. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Hmm. Don't have any blue stuff. Let's just take the added uh, cold damage support and we'll put it in the inventory for now until we get a skill that can use it. How you going? Let's uh, sell some stuff. Just identify to sell because I think you get better. Yeah, you get like. Better stuff if you sell. Uh, gosh. I don't know which one's better. Level 4, fire resistance, lightning, damage, energy shield 17, 12. Probably this one. Okay. Sell that. And we'll get rid of that sword as well. Okay. Farewell. We'll equip that. Oh, we can sell that flask as well. Neither the time nor the place. There's a fine line between man and monster. Brutus, the warden of Axiom Prison, he crossed that line long ago. A big lad, and as you know from Hillock, big lads are slow. Hit and run. That's the way to cut them down to size. Unless there's thaumaturgy involved. Then forget the hitting bit. Just run. <laughs> okay. Farewell. Farewell. Let's put all this stuff in our inventory. Now we can use our uh, sentinel again. We got about him, to be honest.
Is it us there? level up again uh so we're going left this time strength wisdom take that your torment is over This. this is that trial. Court of the goddess, every man and woman is deemed worthy of redemption. Though you might be shackled by the tribulations of the past, the trials ahead offer you both freedom and glory. The future is yours if you're bold enough to reach out for it. Okay, let's do it. But as far as I remember, you just go around here. It's not too difficult. Ooh, look at that damage. Insane. Oh, lag. Lag, lag, lag. Okay. Oh, yeah, these, uh, Remember where they go. There we go. That's easy. Can I not have but a moment's respite? Nice. Medium life flask. So I think that was it. I think you get a reward when you complete, there's like a bunch of these or something and you complete them all and then you get like a reward of some sort. Whoa, 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 they're strong, they're strong. Jesus. Oh, 
Oh, look at me, that damage was insane. If I was playing hardcore, I would have been crapping my pantaloons then, I think. And the idea was that I did actually want to play hardcore, but uh, yeah, I spoke to someone who does play this game and they said like, you know, hardcore is fine up until a certain point, but then you just start getting to a stage where you will literally get one shot like out of nowhere, like a boss will appear or something or a, a strong enemy and it will just like one shot you and that will be the end and you'll be like, it's not like Diablo where, you know, you can sort of prepare for it kind of thing and you, you know which mobs are going to do a lot of damage and you can play it safe in this game it's like they will punish you for wanting to play hardcore but we might give it a go when we get a bit more familiar with the game but for now i think probably the uh safest will be just to uh practice a bit with uh with this mode uh oh look the exit was there i totally didn't see that moment's respite let me go back here. Okay. Upper prison. Here we go. Skilling, so we want to go up now to totem attack speed and cast speed. Okay. So the idea is that we will get a totem at some stage and it will be like an attacking totem for us, so it will actually uh, do damage. But for now, the, you know, we'll just buff this totem, like the protective totem. This one's a uh, very strong. Those uh, fast, fast boys. These things. Okay, where to? The down here. When you hear that, by the way, that's just me uh, ca trying to cast without enough mana. So she's just saying that she hasn't got enough mana. Oh, look, there's the exit. Warden's Quarters. Perform for Dominus, girl. You were very good. Good enough to survive Ray class? We'll see. <laughs> Can I not have but a moment's respite? Oh. 
cool music. It's like electronic kind of, uh, I don't know. Should the need arise, we shall retreat through prison's gate, raising my barricade behind us. Yet our salvation is at hand. Foul times demand heroic deeds, and through my arts, our Lord Brutus will arise anew to defend us. May the dry sands quench their thirst with Karui blood when our mighty warden delivers his judgment upon them. Okay. I think I, this is where the uh, Brutus guy is who I need to fight and probably fail against. Oh crap, yeah there he is. One sec, I need to put my totem down first before I... God, we're not doing much damage against him are we? Oh, that damage. Okay, this is... Jeez, Louise, he's, uh, he's a strong... What the Christ? Let me embrace you. Let me embrace you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I have nothing more to give. Gosh. No, please don't embrace me. Whoa, jeez. Damage. Please, no embracing. No. No, 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 no embracing. Ship, got no mana. Oh, man. No. Come on, almost. Yes, sit down. That was lucky because we were totally out of uh, health and mana then. Okay, very good. Is this the way? Dear Chevron, you have certainly had your work cut out for you with Lion Eyes Legion. Do not concern yourself with Marseilles' complaints. Our Emperor is fully aware of the General's fickle nature. As to your need to accelerate the implantation process, I can recommend a quite simple alteration. Dip the gem in a boiling solution of six parts blood and one part thormetic sulfite for no more than 13 seconds. Any longer, then you invite the crystals run. Once the gem is withdrawn from the solution, you have but a few seconds to install the gem in the prepared flash and close the wound. Should the gem cool too much prior to implantation, it will become inert. For some, death is welcomed with open arms. Did you end Brutus's suffering out of avarice or mercy? Only you know the answer to that one. Hmm. I don't know, I just sort of killed him because he seemed a bit of a douche and he was hitting me. Okay, there we go. We'll just sell this as well. Goodbye. Okay. Cool. So, to be honest, um, 
I think that's a good um, video. How long have we been streaming? Just an hour and a half, an hour and a half. So I'm going to end it there. So we'll leave our little archer girl to relax for a bit. And uh, we'll carry on next time. We kill Brutus, the warden. The warden's free of his own prison. Well, since you're so bloody determined to cheat the britches off death, you'd better have one of these for luck. And when they write the song about you, just be sure to mention that it was Tarkley who taught you everything you know. Oh, okay. Oh, the skill. Flame dash. Blink arrow. Fires an arrow at the target destination. When the arrow lands, you are teleported. Hmm. Withering step. Removes any system buff. I like the sound of that blink arrow. That could be fun. Farewell. I'm going to put that in... Oh, I can't use it yet. We need more dexterity, so I need better gear for that. So I'll put it in our inventory. Okay, cool. So, yeah, that's it for now, I think. Um... Can I do anything here yet with this? I'm not sure how this works. Like, uh, I'll, I'll read up on that. It's going to be boring if I start doing it on, on the video, but uh, I'll figure out what to do with these Sentinels. But to be honest, like I said, it's not a big deal since the new season will start next week, so we'll have to start a new character. But we're just going to test it all out with this character and then maybe we'll make a witch or something in the next season next week but uh yeah let me know what you think of half of excel like is it fun to watch what do you think like how would you compare it to diablo like uh just interested like in general like is it is it as good not as good like what's your what's your feedback anyway thank you very much for watching very much appreciated and uh have a good day good weekend good week Good evening, good morning, good afternoon, and good night.